Well, the fallout continues after former President Trump's guilty verdict in a New York courtroom. And tonight, Congressman Mike Kelly and State Rep Ryan Bizarro are responding to the jury's decision. They spoke with our Philip Ward tonight. And Philip, two different assessments of the verdict for sure. Yeah, good evening, Mike. Well, Congressman Mike Kelly says this is our system of justice being weaponized against the former president, while State Representative Ryan Bizarro says we saw the American rule of law carried out in front of our eyes. A crooked judge with a crooked jury came up with the straight answer. They don't like Trump. After seeing the former president found guilty, Congressman Mike Kelly says the trial was politically motivated. The driving force behind all of this is the Biden administration. And if this country does not wake up, forget about being woke, wake up, you are losing the greatest nation the world has ever known and has become a one-sided event for everybody. While today we talk about Donald Trump, tomorrow it could be you. State Representative Ryan Bizarro says what we saw in the courtroom was the justice system taking its course. This just happens to be uh, historic uh, in nature because it's a former president of the United States. But what we saw yesterday was a former president, like any other American sister, uh, citizen, go through the justice system and receive a, a verdict. Now, whether you agree or disagree, again, um, is irrelevant. The fact of the matter is the president is entitled to go through the process that every other American citizen uh, can go through. And both elected officials also gave their thoughts on how this decision will affect the upcoming presidential election. It'll be overturned, I believe, in the future, but not before the election. This is all about timing. This is all about orchestrating a move to make sure that my political opponent is kept off the ground. Keep him away. Don't let him interfere with the election uh, because it's a great fear is right now, not just for Democrats. I do believe lifelong Democrats are as offended by this uh, this fall as anybody else is this this uh, this finding. This is a different circumstance. I believe that everybody knows who they're voting for for president of the United States today. Um, the only thing that both campaigns are doing right now is trying to maximize turnout in both respective parties. But does this is this going to impact the race at all? Absolutely not. People have made up their minds today. And Mike, sentencing for the former president is set for July 11th, which is four days before the Republican National Convention is scheduled to get underway in Milwaukee. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.